No, I mean, it, it's, it's a really special feeling. And, uh, you know, obviously we have the World Championships this year, but, I mean, it, it might be the second most important meet of the whole year for me. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a competition where, especially a lot of the people here in Sweden that support me, watch me on TV, and that, that follow me thoroughly, it's people that are going to come here and watch me. And I want to put on a show for them. And I want to do something special. I want to go out there and, and win for them because I know they'll be they'll be rude me on. So, uh, it, yeah, it's it's a very very important day for me tomorrow. I think for me, you know, like most track and field athletes, our our job besides competing very well is to try to grow the popularity of the sport. So to see how many people love track and field because Mondo Duplantis is here and Fem Cabol is here and all these great athletes are here, especially in a home crowd for Mondo, it's very cool to see how appreciative people are of the passion we chose to pursue as young kids. And I think that Mondo being kind of one of the main uh, events here is, you know, it's, it's really cool to be a part of as well. Um, I'm kind of happy and grateful that I get to add to that experience as well. I get to show people that there are different schools of thought when it comes to athletics. Um, but yeah, I'm, just, I'm, I'm excited to be here. I'm always excited to be at a Diamond League. It's kind of the goal of all of us. Uh, I was not really surprised because, of course, in Nashville, uh, Sydney already won 51.6. And I think you never know. You never know the conditions I heard in Eugene, so we won't know. But I think you're going to need to run really fast for gold because it shows that Sydney's in a great shape. I'll take it. Oh, that's it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm out of it. I just want to stick with golf. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I feel like anything other than pole vault would be pretty sick because then I wouldn't have to travel with poles. If I just <laughs> pick a specific, yeah. I would have, if I had to pick a specific event, I, I feel like long jump. I, I feel like that would be, be pretty cool to do. Yeah, I also would like long jump or pole vault, but go. I won't be able to do that. <laughs> no. I, think, I think you'd be very good at it. I think yeah, you'd probably be very well. Yeah, yeah. You got the best jump. coach right there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's 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 uh, it's like picking your meal. You know, you just kind of pick with what works for you and what you've you what you like for your history. So um, for me, Essex has always been a very reliable brand, and Mono's been jumping on uh, pole vault pole uh, jumping on spirit since you know he was born. So it's just kind of. You just pick and go, I guess. Yeah, but it is it is like a little bit different material. I jump on fiberglass, he jumps on carbon fiber poles. It's, uh, it's just a little bit of a different bin, but it's, it's nothing too crazy. But I think we jump on like the same length poles. Yep, we both jump on uh, 5 meter 20 poles, and my flexes are around 11.0, which is about a 10.0 for him, somewhere around there. Yeah. So... So his are just a little bit stiffer because, you know, he's, like he said, he's just... I'm fat. He's good at pole ball. There you go. <laughs> I was in bed. <laughs> You've been in bed? <laughs> yeah, I was in bed because it was pretty Off late. Off the time, huh? Yeah, exactly. And I had nationals in the weekend, so I couldn't watch it live, but I saw the results and I think it was an amazing race when I watched it back and a really great time. Uh, yeah, because, uh, like, uh, in my country, there is so many peoples and uh, uh, this was... First gold for India in Olympics in athletics, so that's why everything will change and everyone celebrating uh, for my medal. And when I uh, came back to India after Olympics, so there is thousand of, of people in airport and in my villages. So there's too much changes and also what is good thing? Uh, so many youngsters and so many children. Uh, they start athletics or javelin throw. That would be this, my yeah. question. So yeah. are they coming to the training? So you bring like, people to javelin? Yes, so many uh, youngsters start javelin. And uh, after me, there's uh, three juniors. They, they also threw over 80 meters this year. So wow. level will be going up. Well, it's to just uh, feel myself and uh, just be in the moment and uh, not think about like being in a competition because then all of the you know the mental things start to catch up and you know I just need to feel the feeling that I'm feeling when I'm in training so yeah and how much does it help when you have your like your home crowd tomorrow in the stadium <laughs> oh that's gonna be so much fun uh, that's not often <laughs> that happens so I'm really gonna enjoy it go out there and try to give them a good show and uh, just enjoy myself è molto importante appunto perché come ha detto lui questo infortunio mi ha procurato come dire un brutto stop proprio nel bel mezzo della stagione è importante cercare di fare più gare possibili per ritrovare la forma e sicuramente non c'è tanto tempo ma nella mia carriera non c'è mai stato niente di facile quindi non è proprio questo che mi spaventa.
that the injury came right in the crucial part of the, of the season, so it ruined our plans, our uh, you know uh, project. But you know, so now it's very important to compete as much as possible in order to uh, uh, find back you know the the the, the competition feeling uh, before, uh, on the road to you to Eugene. Um, I just feel like, I mean, every time I step out there, like I, I just know like what I did last year was something big, especially with the times that I put up. So, um, and I know like everybody else knows like what I can do. So yeah, there, there is pressure um, behind that because if things don't go as you plan, you just have to deal with a whole lot of other things and it could take a toll on your mental. But um, it's just, I don't know, I just feel like this year is, I don't know, it's my first world championships, like I've never been, so um, <laughs> so I am, I don't know, it's just going in, like I just, trying to get the same mindset that I had last year, um, going into Olympics, and I think, I don't know, I think it'll get there once, I, like once the championships come, everything will change, like as of right now, I'm just like, okay, like I'm just waiting for it, but I think um, once that time comes, like everything will change. We get a little bit more adrenaline rushing and get a little bit more excited.